Jimmy Mo. Um, I'm a professor uh, with the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. Um, I have an affiliate appointment with the ISR. I also have a joint appointment with the UMEX, the University of Maryland Institute uh, for um, Advanced Computer Studies. Um, I originally come from China, uh, where I was born and raised in Beijing. I did my undergraduate study at uh, Tsinghua University. And then I came to the United States for my PhD. I did my um, doctor study at uh, Princeton University and then joined uh, the faculty of University of Maryland. My general research interest uh, is uh, on signal and image processing. And my research focus uh, is on the security, forensic, and the trust issues uh, with information, and particularly with uh, multimedia information since they, they're becoming so popular these days. Um, I also have a work on multimedia signal processing, communications, and some general security issues. Uh, we have been uh, working on um, the problem surrounding the notion of digital fingerprinting. There are in fact many kinds of uh, digital fingerprints. Uh, this word is very well liked. And many researchers are working on that and sometimes means different things. What I see is that there are um, three major types of digital fingerprints. Um, they are the embedded type of fingerprinting where we embed uh, a unique signals in each versions of the the same information and then later on if some of the version uh, being misused, uh, being leaked outside uh, 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 a lot of circle, we will be able to use this embedded fingerprint to trace uh, uh, who was the source of the leak, uh, who was the in initial intended recipient. This can find information, uh, uh, this can find applications in the area uh, where you have a classified valuable documents. There's also anti-piracy that would benefit from embedded fingerprinting. The next type of a fingerprint we uh, consider um, as a content fingerprints, where we derive uh, some unique, uh, very compact representations from multimedia content and use this uh, to very quickly identify um, the, the media file and the content that we want. Um, content fingerprints uh, are very popular in um, dealing with uh, a large amount of user uploads to Google, to YouTube, uh, and many um, such uh, sites that uh, has become very popular with the growing uh, use of a social network and uh, media uh, information. Uh, it also um, can uh, be used as a building block to do uh, multimedia authentication to figure out whether the content has been tempered and how. And all this uh, embedded fingerprinting or content fingerprinting, they are a proactive technology where uh, we um, add something um, to the media signal invisibly uh, or attaching some site information beforehand. And later on, we will use those information for um, authentication, for uh, tracing purposes. And many of the today's device systems and the data doesn't necessarily have the proactive uh, protection at, available at hand. So we are looking at when we don't have those proactive protection, uh, what can be done? Uh, what can we tell where the content coming from? What has been done on the content? What processing has been done? Which device captured it? Who, was, uh, um, uh, who has done what, when, and where? Um, so this uh, actually brings out the notion to a uh, non-intrusive or intrinsic fingerprint. The idea is when your uh, information, such as a picture being acquired by a camera, uh, it uh, also undergone some additional processing. All those devices and uh, processing systems impose some uh, inherent, they are invisible, but they are uh, some uh, detectable traces that are representing the, this entire information processing path your information has uh, gone through. So by uh, modeling this process and try to uh, doing estimations and then try to infer uh, what was the um, devices, the systems, and properties uh, of those systems and the parameters of those systems that your information has gone through will be able to answer a larger class of uh, uh, forensic questions. So this is an area of intrinsic or non-intrusive uh, fingerprint that we have been very active working on and particularly using imaging devices, image and video um, as example. And we can tell you where the picture coming from, which camera it coming from, uh, which iPhone, whose iPhone it coming from, and whether there's any content tampering. Uh, there were, however, two um, questions very difficult to answer. 
um, if you have a video, um, say um, Bin Laden's video, uh, many of uh, the um, counter-terrorists and teens around the world want to know when the video was shot, where the video was shot, and whether the audio and the visual track are captured together or they are captured separately and superimposed later. So to answer those when and where questions, we cannot just counting on the device um, and the traditional processings. Uh, but what we have uh, seen recently in our research is that there are very interesting and unique signatures um, in our environment. And during those uh, recordings, uh, uh, those uh, environmental signatures and particularly the time varying signatures can be inherently um, captured or embedded inherently with the recording. Uh, for example, there are some power frequency variations, very subtle, but we can detect it from the sound or visual recordings. And this can really help us to um, uh, determine the likely capturing time and location and also the integrity of the content. So this is a very active areas of uh, our group's research recently. And then we also find uh, very exciting uh, applications uh, both within security of forensic domain as well as outside and beyond.